Dear students, in the previous lecture, I have explained you about two important thermodynamic parameters, internal energy and enthalpy. Internal energy is the heat absorbed or evolved, or you can say the energy exchange at constant temperature and constant volume. Enthalpy or the heat content is the heat exchange or energy exchange at constant temperature and constant pressure. Internal energy and enthalpy both are state functions that is they depend upon the initial and the final state of the system and not on the path and both are extensive properties. I have also explained you that to find the exact value of internal energy is not possible. In the same way to find out the exact value of enthalpy is also not possible. Dear children, when we do the experiments in the lab, they are under constant pressure, that is under atmospheric pressure which hardly changes, it is almost constant. For example, there is a gaseous system and there is evolution of heat and if there is expansion, then work has to be done by the system, then some part of the heat is utilized to expand, then the heat evolve will be less. And if there is contraction, then the work is done on the system and heat generated will be more. For an exothermic process, change in enthalpy and change in internal energy are negative. For endothermic reaction, delta H or delta U is positive. To find out the change in enthalpy, we can calculate it as the sum total of enthalpies of the products minus sum total enthalpies of the reactants. The relationship between internal energy and enthalpy. It is defined as the sum of internal energy to the product of pressure and volume that is H is equals to U plus PV. Or we can also say delta H is equals to delta U plus P delta V. Delta V is the change in the volume and delta U is the change in internal energy. Delta H is change in enthalpy. From the ideal gas equation we know that PV is equals to nRT. So the in the equation delta H is equals to delta U plus P delta V, we can also use delta nRT. Delta N G, G is the subscript, it is the difference in the number of the moles of the gaseous products and the gaseous reactants. Enthalpy change. In a chemical reaction, the reactants change into products and the enthalpy change accompanying the reaction is known as enthalpy change or the enthalpy of reaction which can be exothermic or endothermic depending upon the energy state of the reactants and the products. Standard enthalpy of reactions. The standard enthalpy of reaction is the enthalpy change for a reaction when all the participating substances are in their standard states. The standard states of a substance at a specified temperature is its pure form at one bar. For example, ethanol at 298 Kelvin or 25 degrees Celsius and at one bar is in liquid state. To find out the standard values, we take the standard conditions. Enthalpy changes during phase transformations. Phase transformations means a substance only changes its phase or state. For example, when ice melts, it changes from the solid state to the liquid state. The formula remains H2O and the melting of ice takes place at constant temperature and constant pressure. That temperature is known as melting point. The enthalpy change that accompanies melting of one mole of a solid substance in standard state is called standard enthalpy of fusion 
और मोलर इंथैल्पी ऑफ फ्यूजन डेल्टा फ्यूजन एच विद अ सिंबल दैट सिंबल विच इज अ सुपर स्क्रिप्ट डिनोट्स दैट द कंडीशन आर स्टैंडर्ड एच टू ओ सॉलिड गिवस एच टू ओ लिक्विड दिस इज अ फ्यूजन स्टैंडर्ड इंथैल्पी ऑफ वेपराइजेशन वेन द लिक्विड वॉटर चेंजेस इन टू वेपर स्टेट दिस इज वेपराइजेशन अमाउंट ऑफ हीट रिक्वायर्ड टू वेपराइज वन मोल ऑफ अ लिक्विड एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर एंड अंडर स्टैंडर्ड प्रेशर दैट इज वन बार इज कॉल्ड इट्स स्टैंडर्ड इंथैल्पी ऑफ वेपराइजेशन और मोलर इंथैल्पी ऑफ वेपराइजेशन डेल्टा वेपराइजेशन वी आर यूजिंग द वी ए पी एच विद द सुपर स्क्रिप्ट दैट डिनोट्स द स्टैंडर्ड कंडीशंस स्टैंडर्ड इंथैल्पी ऑफ सब्लिमेशन इन सब्लिमेशन अ सॉलिड डायरेक्टली चेंजेस इन टू लिक्विड स्टेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल नैप्थलीन सब्लाइम्स और द सॉलिड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड विच इज अ ड्राई आइस ऑल्सो सब्लाइम्स वेन वन मोल ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस चेंजेस डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द सॉलिड स्टेट टू द वेपर स्टेट दैट इज द इंथैल्पी ऑफ सब्लिमेशन ड्यूरिंग फेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन लाइक सॉलिड स्टेट द चेंज ऑफ सॉलिड स्टेट इन टू लिक्विड स्टेट और लिक्विड स्टेट इन टू वेपर स्टेट द प्रोसेस आर एंडोथर्मिक एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ डेल्टा एच विल बी पॉजिटिव बट वेन द रिवर्स ऑफ द प्रोसेस टेक्स प्लेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल लिक्विड वॉटर फ्रीजेज एंड कन्वर्ट इन टू आइस द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द इंथैल्पी रिमेन्स द सेम बट ओनली द साइन चेंजेस द साइन चेंजेस फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव टू नेगेटिव Similarly, when the vapors condense to form the liquid water, again the magnitude of the enthalpy remains same, only the sign reverse. Standard enthalpy of formation. The standard enthalpy change for the formation of one mole of a compound from its elements in their most stable states of aggregation, also known as the reference states, is called standard. molar enthalpy of formation its symbol is delta fh with the sign of standard states the f is in the subscript the reference states of an element is its most stable state of aggregation at 25 degree celsius and 1 bar pressure the standard state for hydrogen is the gaseous state for oxygen again it is the gaseous state at 25 degree celsius and 1 bar pressure out of the allotropic forms of the carbon that is diamond graphite fullerenes and other forms graphite is the standard state for carbon similarly out of many allotropic forms of the sulfur rhombic sulfur is the standard state standard enthalpy of formation in the standard state is taken as zero now i am taking two examples h2 in the gaseous state plus half o2 in the gaseous state gives one mole of water in the liquid state we must mention the states because these are the reference and the standard states h2 in the gaseous state plus br2 in the liquid state gives two moles of hbr in the gaseous state let me explain you that the second equation is not an example of standard enthalpy of formation because here two moles of hbr are formed whereas the standard enthalpy of formation says that it should be one mole of the product form from its element in the standard state enthalpy is for different types of reactions enthalpy of combustion enthalpy of combustion is defined as the enthalpy change per mole or per unit amount of a substance when it undergoes combustion in all the reactants and products being in their standard state at the specified temperature methane that is ch4 in the gaseous state undergoes combustion that is 2 moles of oxygen in the gaseous state to give 
CO2 and 2 moles of water. The reaction is exothermic and delta H is negative. Enthalpy of atomization. It is the enthalpy change on breaking one mole of bonds completely to obtain atoms in the gas phase. In the case of the diatomic molecules, the enthalpy of atomization is equals to the bond dissociation enthalpy. For example, hydrogen molecule. There is a covalent bond, a single covalent bond between the two hydrogen atoms. When we break one mole of hydrogen molecules into gaseous atoms, then the energy required to break these one moles of the covalent bond in the gaseous state is known as the enthalpy of atomization. In the case of hydrogen like molecules like chlorine etc that is the diatomic molecules the enthalpy of atomization is equals to the bond dissociation enthalpy. But in the case of the polyatomic molecules the bond dissociation enthalpy is different for the different bonds within the same molecule. In such cases, we use mean bond enthalpy. For example, methane. In methane, there are four CH bonds which are identical in the bond length and bond energy. But when we break these bonds between C and H in the successive steps, the bond enthalpies are different. So, in this case, we take the mean bond enthalpy. Dear students, today I explained you that internal energy and enthalpy are related via equation delta H is equals to delta U plus P delta V. Delta H is the heat exchange at constant pressure and delta U is heat exchange at constant volume. I also explained about the enthalpy changes in phase transformations. The phase transformations that is the change from the solid to liquid or liquid to gaseous state or vice versa. I also explained that the enthalpy of atomization for the diatomic molecules and polyatomic molecules is different. In the case of the polyatomic molecules we take the mean bond enthalpy. In the next lecture we will study about the lattice enthalpy and the way to find out the lattice enthalpy of an ionic solid using Bohn-Heber cycle. Thank you.